Welcome back. In this tutorial, we'll be talking about the circular pattern tool. I've got two extrudes in my graphic area, extrude 1 and extrude 2. Let's begin by activating the circular pattern tool. First, I'll specify a feature to pattern. Boss extrude 2 is selected. Now we select the axis. I'll use this cylindrical face. Number of instances will be 4. and 25 degrees. Let's accept. And let's open our circular pattern for editing. Right click, edit feature. Here's an option for equal spacing. So if you check it, you'll space your instances over the number of degrees that you specify. Let's enter 180 degrees. Right here, we can select the instances to skip, just like with the linear pattern. And let's click OK to accept our work. Right now, let's learn how to create an axis. Go to Reference Geometry and select Axis. We'll use the Two Planes option here. Let's expand the Feature Manager design tree. And let's select the front plane and the right plane. So there's the preview of my axis at the intersection of those two planes. OK, let's clear these selections with a right click. Select Clear Selections. Let's just select this cylindrical face, and voila, here's the preview of my axis. And let's click OK. Now in order for me to use this axis, it needs to appear in my tree before the circular pattern. Let's drag it up and drop it right on top of the circular pattern. Now let's right click, open the circular pattern for editing, and select the axis. Let's click OK. This concludes our tutorial about working with the circular pattern tool.